So right now we're at the uh, the IBC slash Ream booth, and I'm here with my good friend Tom. So Tom's going to walk us through some of the new products. I've seen the new products. Uh, they're really, really slick. This is actually the brand new electric boiler. So Tom, tell us a little bit about the electric boiler that IBC is going to be releasing. Sure, yeah. So this is coming out this month. We get, it starts at 4 kilowatts, 4, 8, 10, and 12 kilowatt ranges. It's uh, 240 volt, but other configurations are coming down the line as well. Two titanium elements modulating electric output. So this is de was designed for us originally as a backup to heat pump systems, so that if the heat pump's heating a buffer tank and it's not quite coming out of that tank hot enough, this will take some of the water, boost it up to your set point and out. But it's a standalone piece of equipment in its own right. You can put an outdoor reset sensor on it, have the control modulate according to what the demand is. Um, and then uh, you, if you just want to install somewhere where you don't have an option for new gas lines or new vents, put in a four kilowatt, say in a basement retrofit or something like that, and you've got hydronic heating. Um, it does go up to at least 180, uh, so you can do domestic indirects with it as well if that's what you have existing in your system. So, you know, put in a heat pump system where you don't want to replace your hot water tank, this can give you an option to back that up as well. So, a lot of different uh, functionality for us for it. You just pop the uh, top off here, and those two elements come right out the top, so very easy to service. Similar uh, unions on the pump, everything's really easy to change and work on. We always try to design everything with service in mind. So we made sure that this was as, as easy to work on as we could possibly get it. And there's a future uh, control coming to, to try to tie all these things together. Early yeah, stuff. and yeah. you and I have talked about that control off camera. We won't talk about it now, but yeah. one of the things that you can't see here is that IBC is also releasing a new air to water product line. And th this connects really nice to that as a backup energy source with electrification taking part across Canada, across North America. This is a really nice design. Having had my hands on it, I feel this sort of follows the ethos of what IBC does. You can look inside of that unit, you can see all the components, and you can easily assess how they come out, which is sort of what's made IBC famous. I like that it's modulating. It gives you a lot of functionality to it, and I think it's a really cool product. Yeah, and IBC, so IBC is based in Burnaby, uh, near Vancouver in, in Canada. And in the uh, city of Vancouver, as of the start of this year, you can no longer pull permits for new construction under a certain size with gas appliances. Yeah. So we couldn't sell our, our existing boiler products in our own backyard. We had to come up with something. So hence, hence yep. all the new product development. That well, it's a really cool product. I think you guys did a great job on it. As I say, we've had our hands on one, and it's it's pretty slick. So I think we'll find great uses for this on even our water furnace product line. So yeah. Why don't we look at the new uh, CX? Yeah. So at the same time as we're coming out with new electrification products, we do also have new gas products. Awesome. Let's look at that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, so we, we have an existing product on the market called the VX. It uses this heat exchanger. Uh, it has a slightly different setup here, but it's a, a residential gas boiler from 110,000, 199,000 BTUs. And that's great. It's been working very well for us. It's based on a new uh, heat exchanger technology out of, out of uh, Poland. It's very, very successful. But that uh, the combi market is kind of the ever-growing market for boilers, and we have combi options from our Superflow series. Um, but we wanted something in the stainless steel product, uh, something using our V10 control, which is an extremely popular, powerful control for us. So we wanted to create a new platform in the combi sphere, so hence the CX. So we use a, an oversized Grunfoss combi block down here. We put too many plates in on purpose, yep. so that you, uh, your, your scaling and fouling that can start to happen on these things over years will take longer before it becomes an issue for anyone. Um, and it has the you know diverter valve and everything built in there. So we've got these uh, in multiple test sites that are working extremely well for us right now. This product is uh, launching within a couple of months as well. Yeah, I think that what is really unique about the IBC product is, again, it comes back to that serviceability. You look inside of this unit, like we, you put a plexiglass cover on to make it look cool, but the reality is, as a service technician, you and I can look at this unit, we can assess the parts and figure out how to get them out. But really what makes it unique is this guy right here, this new V10 controller, this really simple touchscreen control. You know, as part of Eden Energy, one of the ways that I sell people on the IBC product as we're doing technical training is that anybody can set this boiler up without a manual. And everybody's told us that, Tom. How many times have you been told, oh, it's so easy and you don't need a manual and then we screw it up and we're smart guys. This product, anybody can do it, and you can literally see everything this unit is doing all through the clean display. Yeah, we say if you, if you give somebody a product uh, control training, and then they leave the room and they don't go work on a control within the week, they forget everything you yeah, train exactly. them Yeah, exactly. So, uh, which is just human nature, but the plain English control, where everything just spells out what it is, it's not, you don't have to remember the codes, everything's very clear to go through. And that's a great example, like this isn't hooked up, so we can see right now, it's a low water pressure and low water. We, we know exactly what that means, and the control itself, what I like is that 
you know, it's standing alone, but the reality is if it's an IBC product, you don't need relay boxes. You can control five pumps, four loads. Like, it's a really slick little package. Yeah, five pumps on this one and a 10 to 1 turndown. We uh, invented a way to connect this to this Venturi on here to get a 10 to 1 turndown on it. Nice. It's very, very good for us, yeah. But yeah, this, uh, just like all the other uh, V10 product, this comes uh, portal ready. So you can connect this to our portal for free and you can monitor the status of your equipment anywhere in the world. That's a great feature. Contractors being able to see their equipment and getting notified. As you know, we have a lot of equipment in our lab and we use that V10 portal and yeah, it's, it's great to get those notifications, be able to see what is that unit actually doing in the field. Yeah, and generally speaking, you only get uh, notifications for hard lockouts, right? So you're not going to get dinged with every little thing that's happening, but if your equipment goes down, it's going to notify you. You need to get somebody there to go fix things. Yeah. Which can happen for nuisance reasons and somebody just has to go press the button, but if your heat's off because you didn't hear about it and you start freezing your home, it's better to get the warning and get somebody in there to fix it. Yeah, to me, this is kind of like the baby sister to the SL product. You know, it's, it's a really good unit. It's at a really good price point, and it helps you get into that market where there's some lower cost products you can sometimes eat away at your business, and you haven't given anything up. It's a really cool unit. Yeah, and all of the controls are engineered by our team out in Burnaby. Yeah, it's a great engineering team. They, do, they really, truly do listen to the customer, including me and you, you know, when we go to give them feedback. So, yeah. Let's have a look at uh, your commercial boiler, if you want to. Yeah, so it's the same control platform basically so sorry about how long ago Tom did the EX series come out uh, so we've had this one on the market now for about two years I believe um, and been working extremely well for us but you can see it's the same V10 basic control except these all come back and enabled uh, so you're ready to connect it to a building management system. Less relevant for residential for obvious reasons, but very important on commercial. Um, so there is a 400, uh, which is um, at a 399. It goes under the uh, ASME code restriction. And then the 500, 700, 850 are all uh, ASME ready with all the proper safeties and lockouts and, and controls that you need. Um, they're all the same uh, basic cabinet size. Nice and roomy and easy to service. Uh, they, they're very... Uh, User friendly for the contractor, very easy to work on. So to me, the EX series, because we've done a lot of these, and in fact, I think we did at Eden Energy, I think we did the first ones in Ontario. But what stands out to me, again, is that simplicity. Like, find a commercial boiler where you have to try to guess is there more than 10 parts. Like, it's, it is so clean, so concise. There's a large fire tube heat exchanger. We have our gas pressure switches built into it, which is really, really nice. And we have that integrated V10 control. So the fact that you can tie these together is also fantastic. We've done a lot of really big commercial jobs, as you know, where we'll take six, seven, eight of these and just tie them all together. And the built-in back net is amazing. Yeah, and the, uh, the V10 can cascade up to 24 units together. So you can make a pretty large plant. Out so of, 24 out of units, 850,000 V2s per. I'm not sure I'd ever design that. But the reality is I would rather do six 850s and a couple of two millions to give me that redundancy and that reliability. So, so it's 24 units on the SL commercial as well at the 399. Nice. We've done, we've done many systems with with more than 12 units in the, in the plant, all communicating, no problem. Well, and hilarious, and so are we with that facility you and I talked about, right, where we'll have yep. a bunch of them. So it's a really cool unit. The other thing that's probably worth noting is that floor stand is nice, and a lot of commercial applications, you can't take a boiler off the floor and mount something on the wall, but people should be aware that in your SL260 and 399, which is kind of your smaller commercial line, they're wall mounted, but you can get really easy floor stands, drop them onto a floor stand. Yeah, you can get floor there. stands that drop right underneath the boiler, or you can get the multiplex rack where you mount them on a heavy duty, very heavy duty commercial grade rack. It's it's all like black iron pipe and, yeah. and, and heavy duty steel bracing. It's all seismic rated. It's a, yep. it's a West Coast company. It needs to be thinking about seismic rating for everything. Well, and that racking you guys have is great. It has all your pumps, all your braided hose connections, comes with a really nice set bore connected to it. So it's, it's pricey, but the reality is the contractor is in and out in a day. And if you've got a school down, if you get that pre-built rack that literally has everything, it's like a Lego set. Go in, take it out, put it in. Yeah, and you can put uh, racking for the EX as well. Two boiler or three boiler combinations, which you can then put up to eight boilers together. Nice. And uh, it's it's spaced specifically to accommodate a set four in the end of the headers, just on a standard configuration. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us the product, Tom. Much appreciated.